couple of Corsairs hanging around, and it's very smart to go uh, heavy Corsair on this map because <laughs> I'm calling it this map. Well, I'm going to compare this to El Nino a lot, so get used to it because last season uh, Zerg just loved to go for mutas on this map, and that was the most popular build, I'd say, of Zerg players. Shine completely destroyed Stork on this map with basically all mutas. I think it was just all mutas. He built a Hydralisk in just to kind of throw Stork off his game, but he ended up going all mutas, and it was absolutely devastating because it's difficult for a Protoss to take their third gas on this map and defend it easily without a big air type of build. Oh, it looks like the three Corsairs sneaking in. Going to be able to take out two Overlords. Oh, no. It looks like Tate B's got to run, split up those Overlords a little bit. Or he's going to be destroyed by the splash damage. Two Overlords go down. So Tate B's got to run in here. All the DT sneaking in for Cal. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get rid of all the detection so he can run in with his Dark Templar and destroy everything. It looks like Tate B's going to have to run his drones from this expansion. Tate B knows about this. He knows about this now, so he's coming in from the back with a uh, Overlord. And the Zealot's sneaking in now, too. So, oh, man, a double-pronged attack at this natural expansion. Looks like he's being uber-aggressive. He's going to lose all of his Zealots. But the Zealots, I think, are just a distraction to keep Type B running around, uh, fighting those off while he tries to get his Dark Templar in there to get some kills. And I think he did get enough drone kills to make that attack worth it. But, of course, yes, he's got to prepare at home for a secondary push of some kind. He's getting out his High Templar, getting up his uh, robotics facility. So I think he is going to switch into a uh, High Templar drop strategy, go in there with some High Templar drops behind the bases. And he could always go for some DT drops, too. I think that would be very effective on this map. Since there's such a large area around the main, there's nice little plateaus where you can drop troops, too. A lot of gateways coming up, so we're going to see a heavy ground army switch from Cal coming up. Cal going out with a lot of Zealots, and I think Zealot speed should kick in pretty soon. And once that does kick in, I think he's going to tr try to surround all these Sunkins. Looks like Type B does not know this is coming. Type B! Oh, man, he does not have the scouting information he needs. He's coming down with Lurkers, though. Ah, uh, Type B is going to barely defend this with Lurkers. Uh, hold, I think he was holding the lurkers for a second there. Oh, the zealots running by, but there's nothing up the top of that ramp. I think that Cal is trying to get lucky up there, try to find another expansion, but he's going to be trapped up here for a little while until some observers can come in. And I think he'll basically use his robotic facility for observers at the moment before he gets out some uh, shuttles to do some drops into the main. So it looks like Type B is going to defend his uh, base down at the 5 o'clock position, at least for the moment. See what Cal is going for. He's actually, curiously enough, not going for a lot of Corsairs. I would have definitely expected him to go for a heavy Corsair type of build. It looks like he's stopping his Corsair production. Wants to uh, fight with a ground army. His Zealot's being caught off guard. He's trying to run them away now. But he's going to be boxed into a corner. But still, I'd say he has plenty of uh, Zealots. Well, if, does, if he doesn't lose them all to Lurkers here, he has plenty of Zealots to fight off the Zerglings, so he can keep those Zealots alive a little bit longer, maybe get a few kills before they go down. Looks like Cal is going out with a lot of Corsairs. I think he's going to run into uh, up there to the main, try to find some... Oh, he's coming in with a drop of some kind. I don't think it's a Reaver drop, so I think this will be a DT or a High Templar drop from him. Since he's going in with Corsairs, yeah, DT drop. Three DTs into the main, and now he's going to try to get rid of the Overlords. If he can get rid of the Overlords, he can just ravage this main. So he's going to, going to probably try to go up there with some Overlords. Very few Hydras to tackle those Corsairs. So I think that Cal definitely should bring his Corsairs in. He is bringing his Corsairs in, tackling the one Overlord that's in the area. It's like, I think that Type B will be sending a lot more Overlords to this position, but he might lose his lair. Oh, man, I think the lair went down. A High Templar drop, a huge High Templar storm. Oh, Type B just got completely screwed in about three seconds, I'd say, because he just lost his lair and all of his mining drones at the natural expansion. Brilliant play from Cal. Wow, he planned that out. I could tell he planned that out from the very beginning. It looks like Type B was focused on a drop. That's why he didn't have enough troops there to defend. Uh, up at his main area, well, what used to be his main. He doesn't have a lair there anymore, so he's probably morphing that at another location. Here comes the counter-attack. And now Cal's going to see that coming. He should probably fall back with all of his troops because I th think this is going to be a rather large drop. A couple of uh, lurkers drop, and I think a bunch of hydras coming out. 
of the Overlord, and here come the Corsairs just to fight back these Overlords and uh, keep the Hydras busy while he comes back with the rest of his army. Ah, nice play from Cal. That was a very impressive move to go for that kind of drop. And I think, yeah, I think he loaded up with three DTs and one High Templar. He dropped the DTs into the main, ran over to the natural expansion with the High Templar. Just great control from Cal. Uh, he's going to have kind of a pes pesky type B to deal with inside of his main, but he's still at two bases. A Protoss at two bases, very, very strong. As long as he can keep his probes alive, uh, it's very, very intense when you're still at two bases. Uh, as a Protoss because he got to be very, very defensive, very good, very quick at run. Oh, Cal has the inside uh, mineral only now. I didn't even notice that before. Maybe he just took it, because, but now he does have three bases, and he's going to need his third gas soon. Well, maybe not, because Type B is not taking his third base. He's keeping at his two bases, and he's not even attempting to take the 12 o'clock again. So I'd say Cal is sitting pretty at the moment. I think he's going to have no, no troubles taking out this 5 o'clock base, because I think that's where he's going right now with a huge army. And Type B, since he lost so many drones, it is natural. That's probably the reason that he wasn't able to take a third base sooner than this. He wants to drone back up. He wanted to drone back up before taking the 12. It looks like he's finally taking the 12 again. But he's going to have to deal with a huge army pushing into his 5 o'clock base. Here comes a lot of High Templar coming in as well. So uh, even with uh, Observer Snipes here, I think that oh, Type B might get drilled through just by High Templar alone. So a bunch of Dragoons and I think a ba huge backup army will probably come in to finish the job for Cal. Uh, Cal is coming in right now. Another drop from Type B is dropping behind the base so he can uh, stop the mining up at the natural expansion. But, oh man, this 5 o'clock base is being completely destroyed and Type B doesn't even have his 12 o'clock up yet. Type B fighting as well as he can, doing uh, some couple of prongs attack himself. He's like, I can fight two places at once too until the lurkers get destroyed at the inside mineral only. Oh, sorry, Type B. It looks like your uh, lurkers aren't going to get the job done. He loses pretty much his only mining base. He got a bunch of drones up. It is natural, but that's it. GG from Type B. And Cal takes a game off of Zerg on what pretty much is El Nino. A very, very impressive play from him. A nice little attack in the middle that pretty much decided the game. Oh, good Let's move on to the second set.